Hi, my name is Sonny McLeod and I want to share with you today and encourage you if you're struggling in your marriage, if you're just struggling, you're praying for your prodigals or whatever you're praying for. I want to encourage you um, with our story and the birthing of my Nehemiah Wall. I don't remember how the day started except for the fact that we got into this big argument and I said the words that I promised I'd never say again because I did it before. A few years passed and you know things weren't changing. I was tired of being sick and tired and and um and I kicked him out. I said get out. So after a couple of hours you know I expect a phone call and to talk things over and to for him to come home but I didn't hear from him. He actually boarded a bus to another city four hours away to start his life over. He left us and had no intention of coming back. And I was, of course, devastated. We had two young kids, so I couldn't believe it. Like, how do you do that? You have a family. We made a vow before God. Like, you can't do this. You know, it's something we got to work through. We got to trust God with. The worst part, too, is that he shut me down quit talking to me. When he phoned, he would just talk to our sons. By this time, crying every night for their daddy to come home. That was hard, knowing that he totally cut me off and wouldn't communicate with me. Since serving the Lord, I always found a place to go pray. Somewhere outside the city, somewhere, just to me and the Lord. I had to go find a place to pray. So I went on the outskirts of my city where we lived, and I found a beautiful place. And that's where it started. I, every day I'd go out there and pray. Every day it was a battle just to get there. I was losing weight. It was the hardest time of my life, losing my best friend, my marriage. I began to write Bible verses on construction paper and began to put these up on my wall, one promise after another. And I told the Lord, I need to hear from you. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to hear a sermon. I needed to hear from you, God. I needed to hear from you. I was crying. I picked up the word of God. If I had ever read this passage before, I don't even remember reading in my life. So when I came across at this day, I could feel the presence of God. I knew he was speaking to me. In Ecclesiastes 11:5, As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. And so God was speaking to my heart saying, Sonia, you don't know how I'm working. Just trust me. I knew that he had everything in his hands. One day when I went out to that place on the side of the road, I got out of my vehicle and was walking and praying because that's what I would do. I'd pray, I'd cry. It was just me and him. And as I was praying and as I was crying, he showed me that while I was praying, while I was holding up his word, while I was standing on his promises, and crying out to him. He was holding back the darkness of what the enemy wanted to do to my home, of how he wanted to destroy my home, destroy my children, and destroy everything that God gave me. He was holding it all back. There's power in praying. There's power in his promises. So I was encouraged to keep going and to hold fast to his promises. I'm not gonna let go. A couple of months later, my husband was home. I didn't know this till later when he saw our wall that he wanted to, that he got angry and wanted to rip it all down. But it was after he had been home for a few nights that he looked up at the wall and he said, Sonia, you built a wall here. You built a wall. And it all made sense because prior to any of this happening, the Lord kept bringing me to Nehemiah, Nehemiah. And I even ministered a, a word out of Nehemiah just months before this took place. Because without a wall, the enemy can come in and, and invade and destroy God's people. What I was building, a spiritual wall that would protect my home, that would keep the enemy out, that I was building a wall. That we gotta be like Nehemiah and keep building that wall. Build a wall for your children, build a wall for your marriage or whatever, your prodigal children and keep trusting in God. It may not look like anything is happening, but he's moving. He's doing something so profound right now. Keep trusting him. Get yourself a prayer wall and keep praying.